This is Twit. On the line with us right now from ifixit.com, Kelsey Weber. Kelsey is Outreach Coordinator, and of course you've seen her on their YouTube videos. Hi, Kelsey. Hey, how are you guys doing? We're great. We actually had four different things we could talk to you about. You've toured, you've done a teardown on the new uh, iPad 10.5. You've mm -hmm. done a teardown on the Microsoft Surface Laptop. You've done a teardown on the new Microsoft Surface Pro. But we thought it'd be good to, to talk about this. This is the yeah. Amazon Echo Show. And of all of those, it's the, it's the most different new thing, right? Yeah, most different and actually one of the more repairable things that we've been tearing down the last few weeks. We've been super busy with all these teardowns and uh, the Echo Show, once you get inside, is um, pretty modular. I've got some uh, cool components I can show you guys in a bit, but if you were to take this Echo Show, put it on your kitchen counter and knock it off you're, and crack the screen or damage something inside, you're going to have a hard time getting past some tough adhesives to replace it. Uh, we kind of, we had quite a battle with our, with our teardown, uh, but. Um, this is a bad but, trend yeah. where they're gluing stuff together now. Everybody is doing yes. that. Yeah. Yeah. And the Echo Show's got tons of screws once you get past the adhesive, because oh. we like seeing screws. Screws are easy to remove, right. but you've got to tackle a bunch of adhesive before you get in there. So, but, uh, so tell me yeah. a couple of things. First of all, it feels like this is, this is just a, 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 a leftover fire tablet. It's a seven That's inch 980p tablet. Yeah, and yeah, so the displays had um, you know similar qualities, but they're not the same model. Oh, um, it's not. One thing, no, they're not the same, uh, but what is what is what was nice about the display was that the fact that the glass isn't fused to um, the digitizer so if it does fall off and break it is possible to just go in and replace the glass oh. um if the parts are available That's good. but um but yeah so it's not the same um as we were um, hoping but as far as um the price of this thing you know amazon can make these things uh pretty cheaply so um i wouldn't put it past them to use the same digitizer but they uh, but they didn't do that here now here's the thing that's really different it's the best sounding echo i've ever heard and look at the size of those speakers yeah. i'm not surprised yeah. now so we've got two inch um stereo speakers um wow. with these giant magnets on them um, I wrote about it earlier saying a small child could get some uh, bicep curls <laughs> going with these things. But yeah, you're not going to have any problem hearing Alexa from across the room with these things. Now, if you, you know, turn up the music and use it as your uh, go-to boombox and blow a speaker, um, they are modular, so then they are connected. They're not soldered in. So if you can get into the device and find um, a comparable speaker, you should be able to, um, you know, replace those. But, um, and with that, so you'll be able to hear Alexa just fine with these giant speakers, um, and she'll also be able to hear you because on chip we've got the same analog to digital converters and mic array um, that you see in the echo and the echo dot it's not so. more mics i thought it might be more mics so this one's got eight yeah that yeah. is isn't that more i think echo dot has a seven yeah six or seven microphones. one more yeah. so, one more on here yeah. so um she should be able to hear you and communicate with you uh, just as clearly as she does with all the other ones so but, you said uh, there were so. a lot of screws are they proprietary screws i know apple uses all kinds of screws that you have to the continue to make the yes yeah, yeah. different tools yeah. are these regular screws so we found um, some T5 and T6 Torx screws. Um, so although they are security screws, they're not necessarily the proprietary ones that we see on Apple devices. Um, and like I mentioned, I don't know if I've got the uh, case set up here. You can see all of these screws um, line the entire frame. There's a lot the of way. them. Holy a ton cow. of them. And they're brightly colored and very beautiful. But if you're going to go in and repair this thing, you really need to keep it organized because there are, looking across the table, over 20 screws um, on the entire you know what you there. get, and I think you guys still sell it, that great mat where you can, yeah. it's, there's magnetic and you have little partitions on the mat and you can put your screws, you can even label it with a dry erase marker so you know where every screw yep. is and where it goes. I love that thing. Everybody should have that's, that. And of course, that's my go -to. Another, yeah. pl another plug for iFixit, but you also sell the screw heads, the screwdriver bits that will work with yep. all of the screws in here. Yeah, we've got, um, I've got it here. We've got um, a bunch of bit kits that have all the bits that you I need have that to get into yeah, um, yeah. any electronic device. Yeah, because there are a lot of proprietary funky screws out there that just aren't in the everyday person's, um, you know, tool, tool Kit. I but, do uh, like the new speakers. I noticed they're louder. They sound a lot better. This is easily the best sounding uh, Echo device. Uh, I use a dot with my stereo. That's going to sound better. But this is good enough. I have it in my kitchen. And I was listening in the living room. I could uh, to an audio book. I could hear it clearly. There was no distortion, even at a high level. The only problem is when you have it that high. I don't care if it's got eight microphones. It can't. She can't hear what you're saying when you're trying to shut. <laughs> shut up, Echo. Yeah. Shut up. I don't want to. Shh. Quiet.
<laughs> so, you know, She's we usually tear apart the things that we love, but um, <laughs> you wrote that you think Amazon should be paying us to buy this device, yeah. that you're not a fan of the device itself. It, it just, you know, it's all knowing, all hearing, you know, all listening, and now it's all seeing. Um, and it just kind of feels a little invasive. Now, some people appreciate the personal assistant um, and appreciate these devices in our lives, but it's just, it's just, it's just kind of creepy, man. I don't know. I have an Echo Dot that we tore down here and we use them in the office, but uh, yeah, just a, just a little creepy. But you know, uh, um, Amazon is build, you know, building these devices obviously to help you make your life better. We all love our tech, but um, also to kind of grab some data. They want to know what your shopping, you know, what your shopping habits are, where you're going, what you're eating, what you're doing. So if anything, um, I mean, they make these things so cheap that they, like I said, they should be paying us to use them so they can take our data. But um, but yeah, I don't know. The price tag, 250 bucks. I mean, I know you're paying for most of the tech that's on that's on chip here, but... Um, and know, and, and an Atom A5, an uh, Atom 5 processor, it's a pretty, is that a pretty yeah. hefty processor? Is that bigger than on the Echo? So bigger than on the Echo, um, but it's ultimately, you know, the, the capabilities with the Echo show with the video calling and everything else um, oh, it needs it, does come it? together. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah that definitely. makes sense. Uh, yeah. And t I saw two gigs of RAM. Yeah, so let me, I'm trying to find the chip here. That's okay. That's okay. It might be over there. We got, we never, we You need that thing. You know, you guys that. sell that thing with the magnets and you could put everything on the. And we do. Teasing. It's over on the teardown table, but we <laughs> okay. haven't reassembled everything. We try to disassemble it so that way we can um, put it back together because that's the process we want to show in our repair guides, but uh, we haven't reassembled it. Eight one gigs yet. of NAND flash to store the operating system, two gigs of RAM. This is, I mean, a few years ago, this would have been considered a pretty hefty computer. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, eight gigs well, of storage. I remember when I got—I was so excited because I had an eight megabyte PC with a with a gigabyte hard drive, <laughs> and this is this outweighs that easily. Pretty impressive. Mm -hmm.